Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is a daily hypnosis session, but it's live. And so, just like you to get yourself prepared, maybe close your eyes, get yourself into a comfortable position, whether it's lying down on a flat surface, sitting in a chair, you know, something that can support your body, ideally. I hope the volume's okay. The reason I took my earpiece out of my left ear is because my voice was all muffled to me, anyway. So uh, I'm filming this on my iPhone using the microphone that comes with the iPhone. And my laptop is no longer working, so I don't have a laptop anymore, so I'm gonna, I won't really be able to make any audios for a while, maybe for a few months. And so uh, I'm just gonna sort of make videos instead. I hope that's okay. My website's still up, uh, jasonnewland.com. Uh, I'm not sure if any of the new stuff will be uploaded onto there, but all the backlog stuff is there. So, I thought it'd be easier just to do this live, because then I haven't got to uh, worry about uploading it or anything like that. Just record it live, then it's done. So, hello beforehand to say hi to those that are listening when you listen and um, I won't necessarily be interrupting what I'm saying uh, so if you do sort of post a hello uh, I might do a little wave or something but I also may have my eyes closed which is often when I'm doing these kind of sessions so the idea behind these daily hypnosis sessions is it's a mixture of just, I've got an itchy nose, a mixture of just getting in touch with those nice feelings within yourself. I don't want to use the word positive feelings because I sometimes feel that the word positive can have a, a negative connotation. You know when people say to you, oh, why don't you try and be more positive? as if you're choosing to feel the way you're feeling. So this is an opportunity to maybe get in touch with some feelings that feel nice to you, but without labeling them positive or anything else. I don't know about you where you are, but I've started having lots of flies over the last two days I've arrived inside my home. Um, didn't have it all summer, had the odd fly, but I've suddenly I've got about 20 flies flying around, so it's quite unusual. Um, I think it's just the unusual weather, maybe they've all come in, maybe this is their holiday home, I don't know. Um, it might be because Andre ate, a, uh, keeps eating the spiders. Unfortunately, I could try to tell him off, but I can't watch him all the time. So, you know, it's, he's messing up the ecological system of this accommodation. So, once you get yourself comfortable, and remember, I only listen or watch this video when you can safely close your eyes because it's important to be safe. This may cause drowsiness, may cause boredom, I don't know. But it's about focusing. It's about giving yourself some space to appreciate yourself. That's what these daily hypnosis sessions are about. It's about getting in touch with that safety and 
yeah, appreciation, gratitude towards yourself. So I'm just going to maybe focus on your body for a bit, focusing on how you feel right now. So if you close your eyes, and maybe just notice what you're hearing. So I can hear, in the background I can hear the Hear the traffic in the in the distance. I can hear the fridge in the kitchen. I hear a bit of wind. By that, I don't mean gas, I mean wind outside, weather. I can hear, of course, I can hear my own voice, my breathing, my swallowing. Just notice what you can hear, what sounds. It's not a case of holding on to those sounds, it's just noticing them. That's it, just noticing them. Allowing them to be there, because they are anyway. And now, as you focus on what you can feel. Notice your body. Maybe the feeling of the chair or the, the bed, the floor, whatever you're laying on or sitting on, whatever is supporting your body, being aware of that sensation. Maybe you, like me, are sitting in a chair, so I can feel the chair underneath my buttocks, I can feel the chair underneath my thighs. I can also feel the floor. I feel my feet resting on the floor, which lets me know that the floor is supporting the chair, which is supporting me. I can feel my hands resting on the tops of my thighs. I can also feel the temperature of the room. Aware of the heat, the coolness. As the temperature continues to just move around a little bit. I find it interesting that sometimes, even in a room without a window open, when I sit down, close my eyes and focus on what I can feel, I can sometimes experience the sensation of a cool breeze on my face or on your arms or your hands. 
or your feet, depending on what parts you uncovered. For me, it could be my neck, the top of my chest, back of my neck, my ears, my forehead. I can feel the glasses on my face, which is something that I don't necessarily take too much notice of. Sometimes I forget they're even on there. I go to put them on and realise I've already got them on. Or I go to take them off and they're not on. It's that ambiguous sense of touch. That feeling as like the temperature of the room just sometimes feels like it's the same but it isn't always the same it's continuously changing as the air flows through the room you can be in touch with how your body feels. And as I've said many times before, this isn't about trying to feel relaxed and calm. If that happens or when that happens, that's just a side effect, a lovely side effect. Yet this is about getting in touch with how you feel and accepting the reality of this moment without complaining or wanting something else. And accepting doesn't mean never doing anything about it in the future. It's just this moment that we share, as well as Andre, who'll be occasionally running around as well. But this isn't about silence. This isn't about sitting in a, a tiny room with no sound. This is about being wherever you are. Whether you can hear the neighbours, whether you, maybe you're in a room and your family is downstairs watching the television, maybe they're talking. This is your space to just relax and but in your own way, not in a, any kind of progressive relaxation or anything like that. This is just relaxing into being however you feel right now. Kind of relaxing your mind into it into that acceptance of who you are and where you are, realizing maybe that only by acceptance and facing the reality of how things are now, that then changes start to occur. And those changes will vary between each person because we all have our own needs. We all have our own wants. Those things are 
personal to you. And nobody else ever need know if you choose not to tell other people about those things and those challenges and those changes that you have decided to make yourself. Those changes that you, you have decided to change your life in whatever way fits your vision of how you like your future to be happier, more relaxed, maybe with feelings of safety for you and those you love. The amazing things about hypnosis and focus is that when you focus on a particular emotion or an idea, especially in this kind of a scenario where it's just me and you, we just hear, you're listening to my voice. And when I mention an idea such as feeling safe, that feeling starts to arise within you. It's like a menu. You just choose what you want. And it opens up. And that feeling of safety arises. And you can enjoy that. You can explore that feeling of safety. Maybe you can you can look at it and compare that feeling of safety with maybe how you used to think safety was. And perhaps perhaps it's the same, maybe it's different. Maybe this feeling of safety that you're experiencing now is more to your liking. Perhaps it fits you better, like an updated feeling of safety that you can, if you choose, keep that feeling of safety within you. Allowing it to spread through your body and to attach to your bones, that safety attaching to your bones, that safety traveling through your veins, that safety entwining with your nervous system and your spinal cord into your brain, covering your skin, becoming part of you, that safety, that sense and feeling of safety, staying with you wherever you go, whatever you do, whoever you're with, it 
that feeling of safety is with you because that feeling of safety is you. And the changes that you can experience really, really feel nice. It feels different. Perhaps a lot different to what you may have thought that it may do had you previously considered the idea of a life where you felt safe. And now, as you're there with this sense of safety within you, you really start to appreciate yourself. You can start to continue loving yourself because you are a lovable person. You deserve to be loved and you deserve to feel safe. You deserve to be happy. What does it feel like to hear those words? You deserve to be loved. Notice where that feeling touches you. You deserve to feel safe. Notice where that feeling touches you. You deserve to be happy. Notice where that feeling touches you. You have so many qualities within you that can transform your life. in an amazing way, moving you towards more happiness, moving you towards more hope, and you start to allow yourself to plan a future that you deserve. A future with happiness, a 
future with love, a future with safety, a future with all of those qualities that you wish for yourself. And when you think about the idea of planning your own future, realizing that you do have a future, where do you feel that? Where does that feeling touch you? may notice there's a sensation surrounding your body like an energy surrounding your entire body and that, that feeling is going to be different for everybody yeah it's going to be a nice feeling some kind of pleasure, maybe relaxation, maybe it's a sense of confidence, a sense of self-belief. A sense of reality, a reality that you do deserve to feel loved. You deserve to feel safe. You deserve to be happy. And you can just rest into that feeling. Rest and absorb those sensations that you are experiencing in your body and in your mind. Feelings of comfort. Feelings of awareness. Aware of just how amazing you are. And aware of what a wonderful life you have before you as you move forward. And you can just allow yourself to continue riding that wave of energy Sometimes it can feel like a standing under a waterfall of energy. As that energy just spreads from your scalp all the way through your body, massaging every part of you. 
so that your whole body and mind is full of pleasure, complete and totally full of pleasure. of love and full of safety. As I bring this session to an end, I'll count, count down from three to one, and when I get to one, if you choose, you can open your eyes and just move on with the rest of your day. If you choose, you can just drift to sleep. It's up to you. So, is it three to one? I'm going to go from one to three. So count from one to three. One. Becoming more aware of your surroundings. Two, absorbing all of those thoughts and feelings and words and ideas and maybe new knowledge new understandings that you have experienced during this time together, allowing you to really absorb those ideas into a, into a way that changes how you feel about yourself. So you feel amazing. You feel much more kindness towards yourself now and in the future. And each day, you start to notice positive changes, changes that you class as positive, changes that feel good, feel productive, and seem to be moving you forward towards a future that you wish for, a future that you deserve, because you are amazing, you deserve to be loved, you deserve to feel safe, you deserve to be happy, and maybe over the coming days, coming hours, maybe that's the three things that you can remind yourself of. Maybe something you can say to yourself, maybe once an hour, every now and then when you think about it, I deserve to be loved, I deserve to be safe, I deserve to feel safe, however you want to phrase it, and I deserve to be happy. Again, you can use the word be or feel. However you want to do it, you can say, oh, I deserve to feel safe. I deserve to feel happy. However you want to say it, because they are your words. And it means more when you say it to yourself. And three, which brings us to the end. Open your eyes if you want to. Keep them closed if you want to. Do a little dance if you want to. Whatever you want to do. 
My name is Jason Newland. My website is jasonnewland.com. If you like what I do, please like it. Please subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time on YouTube. Bye-bye. Press the stop button now. How do I do this?